What is up, my proper compadres? This is Proper Jeremy, and today I'm finally getting to the Mandalorian official trailer that came out. Oh, gosh. When was that? Like four days ago? So, I mean, better late than never. Um, the last thing that I found out about uh, the Mandalorian, um, or the last footage that we saw, was from Star Wars Celebration. I, of course, was there, and I got to see that little sneak peek that everyone saw. I also got to see uh, about, like, three or four minutes of footage from the pilot episode, I believe. And that was really cool to see, and it looked very promising. And this first shot, <laughs> I gotta say, also very promising. Um, I haven't heard too much about uh, this trailer, so you know what? Um, the less I know about The Mandalorian, the better the experience I feel like it's gonna be for me personally. Uh, just because... You know, it's nice to know a little bit of background, but at the same time, I like to be surprised about these sort of things, you know, especially when there's no stigma that's attached to it. You know, The Mandalorian, it's its own thing, set in between episodes six and seven. So, you know, The Rise of Skywalker, my opinions on it were just... Some of it was based on the other movies. Some of it was just uh, either my interest or complete lack of interest. Um... But, yeah, but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about The Mandalorian, so without further ado, everyone, whew, here we go. Oh, more. Hmm. I wonder if their heads are actually in it or not. I like the music, very promising. This is part of the scene that they actually showed at a uh, celebration in the pilot. I'm gonna go on this mission. Right there. That's a cool shot right there. I like the western kind of Clint Eastwood kind of vibe I'm getting there. I really love how cinematic it looks. Yeah, that's why that one is so cool. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. You don't say. <laughs> Ooh, the carbonite. Don't you agree? You know, all right, Disney Plus, we know, we know that you own all that stuff. Don't be a show off. <laughs> but all right, personally, I, I very much enjoyed that trailer. Um, what is promising to me about this, it, it doesn't really have too many, uh, I guess this is probably what Star Wars should have done in the first place with some of these spinoffs. Uh, just have a uh, focus on characters that are not related to to all the rest of the Star Wars <laughs> the characters, you know, not really focusing on them at first, trying to expand the universe as you, you know, want to do, that's fine, um, but, uh, with this, this seems awesome, this is gonna be the first live-action Star Wars, uh, <laughs> series that we're gonna actually end up seeing, I mean, there was, there were a couple others that were in, in the works before, uh, Lucas sold the company, but that never came to fruition for a variety of rumors, but, um, at the end of the day, uh, this is, uh, to me, this is something that's, you know, unique enough that uh, I'm not familiar enough with with Mandalorians or Bounty Hunters. You know, I thought, I did think that Boba Fett was not a very interesting character when I first watched the movies. Uh, but the, the fact is that it didn't really take away from the fact that, you know, when I was a kid, I was just kind of nervous about him. Just like, oh, what's going to happen? You know, what was he going to do? You know, he's just so clouded in mystery. And uh, especially without seeing the prequels, he's so clouded in mystery and you don't exactly know what, he, like, he's just doing this for business. You know, D does he have, you know, connections to other people? Yeah, he does. But, uh, to, but to me, I don't, I think this, that was a missed opportunity to fully develop the character. And I think this could potentially rectify that if Boba Fett is indeed alive, you know, going out the way he did like a punk kind of sucked in, um, in Return of the Jedi. So Hey, I'm I'm down for this, and what excites me the most is 
uh, uh, Pedro Pascal, I believe the, the guy's name is. He just seemed, at Star Wars Celebration at the panel, he just seemed so grateful to be there. And he was just so excited. John Favreau, um, I didn't like what he did with The Lion King. You know, I, I at the best, I could say, nice try. But that's all I got for him. But um, it seems like this is very promising. And, you know, if we just, you know, if we, if we as in like the fandom minutes, just complain about everything Star Wars just all together, like no one, no one's going to listen at all. Not like some people have listened at all <laughs> at this point, but... You know, if all we do is just complain about something and we don't just be honest and say, like, hey, I kind of like this, you know, then where are we going? Then wh what are we doing? So, you know, that's my take on it. And I want to know what your take is on uh, the Mandalorian trailer. Are you excited to see the Mandalorian? Are you going to get Disney Plus in order to watch this movie? Are you going to listen to people like me who are going to watch this and uh, are going to report on you know, I'm going to see it so you don't have to, all right? And if it turns out to be good, I will tell you about it. And if it's not, I'll tell you that it sucks, 100%. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and ding that bell for notifications while you're at it. Also, if you want to support my channel, uh, my PayPal link is in the description down below. Uh, thank you all so much, my proper compadres. Live long and proper, and of course, as always, have a great day.